Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we're taking a look at the newest Hall of Famer in WWE Champions. You guessed it, Jim Neidhart, the Anvil, Hall of Fame, inducted in the class of 2019, uh, father of the goat of female wrestlers, don't argue with me. Um, he does have gears. We will not be using them in this preview, but stay tuned. I will have both of them equipped for the run it back so we can see the insanity level of the move damage. Uh, he is an aggressive technician, Hall of Fame trainer ability at 26K. Purple moves start with two more move points and moves that heal give 50% more health. Um, so that is a Hall of Fame Ray trainer. Link's. Hall of Fame. Any color moves start with four more move points. Again, he does have two gears. One of them matching all color gems charge moves of that color by six more move points. Massive for Faction Boss. Um, and then if you have both, all color moves that deal damage will deal 100% more damage. Um, a couple of different builds are going to run here. He's got gem damage. He's got move damage. He's got sub damage. He's got bleed damage. He's got leech damage. There is a lot going on with this character. Uh, we are going to start with the bleed damage build available at six star. The anvilizer seven MP submission generate 40 random submission gems and do 294,200 damage for four turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into X break gems. The discus punch 7 MP deal 241,938 damage and deal 689,493 bleed damage to your opponent for four turns. And the six star move forearm club 8 MP deal 366,481 damage and make 30 x break gems into black gems like i said this is going to be a bleed focus build woods for black mp apollo for 150 percent more bleed damage um, i do want to show the number if you don't have apollo and you're using seth instead with apollo Kyrie, and king woods you're getting 2.34 million bleed for four that's almost 10 million total over the four turns um, but if you need to use Seth instead, 1.76. That's still still pretty good, folks. Um, if you're using Seth instead of Apollo, maybe tack on Rocky Johnson as a coach just to get that extra sub turn, a little extra more damage there as well. Uh, but as it stands, Kyrie is adding 40%. King Woods is adding 50%. I do have a gem damage strap, 30%, two sets of Fury 2s. And using the Ronda's jacket plate, kind of like extra damage because we're doing a bleed focus, but this will be more important for the next build we do. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your yellow and black gem damage by 100% for two turns. So let's see what this bleed sub combo can do. So yeah, we're doing 2.34 million bleed for four turns. Like I said, almost 10 mil. It's got 16 million health to start. And then we're taking about a mil with the sub as well. So that took like... 10 mil, 650k ish. It's kind of silly. Uh, 49k on our black gems after the Ronda's jacket. Go ahead and blow up the board and recycle. If he kicks out, we're recycling. Looks like he's going to do that. So uh, the poor guy just gets to bleed again. Yeah. 
So depending on your trainers and coaches, you could do a mix of sub and bleed entourage for this. Like I said, if you don't have Apollo, maybe you use zombie Kevin Owens instead for three more turns on the sub and 20% more damage. If you don't have King Woods, maybe you're using Rocky Johnson, or maybe you're just using Santa Hogan for a little extra gem damage there. But that is what the bleed scales to. Let's take a peek at this build with gem damage. All right, so we are running back the same move set, but we've changed up a bit of the entourage here. Uh, Tori for black MP and black gem damage. Uh, if you have perks, if you have a line bonus, you can use King Nakamura here for the flat 12K to black gems. Zombie Edge for 12K on the black gems and Santa Hogan when in doubt. Santa Hogan. Uh, 3450 for me personally for um, the gem damage. Probably 2200 for a lot of you. Um, and then plus one MP because with the change to feud perks, uh, might need to be paying attention to the MP now. But we're doing 55k to start on our black gems. Hit the bleed. Hit the sub. Still have the Ronda's jacket played on. Let's see what this does. Or he could take everything. Jerk. Uh, 70k. Okay. Make 30x break into black. I know it's like triple black. Use a drip plate. No. There's not enough room on the board, in my opinion. Uh, three That was kind of underwhelming, not going to lie. But again, can see this being decent for boss battle because everything will stack. So for a feud, not the fastest. But keep in mind other game modes as well because now we're doing 85 decent cask 3.8 so not personally not my favorite but i do see value in it in a game mode like faction boss uh, but that is triple black let's shift gears here and take a look at his leech gems. Next build we're going to take a look at is the leech gem build, bringing in the finisher and double blue. Finisher is the anvil flattener 10 MP, deal 1,879,845 damage, and choose a 7x4 area to swap into blue gems. Tree of Woe Stomps, 7 MP, deal 102,435 damage plus 63,165 bonus damage for every leech gem. Then deal 102,435 damage and choose seven gems to make into green gems. So that is a combo move. And blue two. The running dropkick 7 MP deal 293,911 damage and make 24 random leech gems, a uh, random gems, pardon me, into leech gems of strength 81,284. Entourage for this. Lawler for blue MP, the new Hall of Fame Ray, plus two blue MP and 75% leech gem damage. So beneficial for both Anvil and a Hall of Fame Tory. Embrace the Vision Seth for 25% more damage to the leech gems, plus an extra leech gem. And Trick Theory for 100% more leech gem damage. A reminder that that goes towards the bonus damage. And not the amount of health leech. We do not have an entourage uh, available for that yet. Sticking with the Fury Belt and bringing in the Honky Tonk Blues plate. Whenever you break three or more green gems, get three blue move points at the end of your turn. Should help us double stack the leech gems before the pin. So start with the running drop kick. And then bonus damage for every leech gem. It, I want to see if it'll actually show it. Okay, so it, we got it to see it was about 5 mil before they covered it up. We're going to make ourselves a 3 match. Set ourselves up a 5 match. 
thank you, Honky Tonk Blues Plate. Put out some more Leech Gems. So he's at like 9.6 mil. Bonus damage for every Leech Gem. We don't actually need to choose any greens here. going to place them all over the board. He's got 1 million health left. So that was a chunk. And then the finisher without any boosts is doing 1.5 mil. Congrats, you're fully healed. And fully recycled. That's how that works. Pretty straightforward, but um, I know everyone saw the green moves and saw the gear boost damage and went, what does that look like? I will show you what that looks like. So now we're going to take a look at the move damage. And there are so many different ways that you can approach this um, from a free to play perspective as well. Um, because it is a preview, I would like to show, you know, the higher end of what the damage output could look like. Um, so I'm going to be running this a couple different ways. Uh, we are doing triple green, the Anvil Flattener Finisher, which is a 1.87 million base. The back body drop, 6 MP, deal 346,316 damage. And make the middle row into Snowfall Gems, which will modify all gems below it into green gems when broken by you. The Slingshot Shoulder Block, say that a million times fast. Um, 6 MP also deal 346,316 damage and choose 6 green gems to destroy. This will recycle itself. Um, if you want to click a bunch to stack the Sheik Plate, that is doable as well. Again, this is without gears. With gears, I'll do a run it back with the gears. It's going to be stupid. Uh, but without gears, uh, we are doing steel for green MP, Bailey for plus two green MP and 100% more green move damage. Gooker for 25% to moves. Truth for 25% to moves. Um, this is where the you can run this different ways comes in. You can use Showboat Gable for 150% on the finisher. You can use Powerhouse Anvil for 50% on the finisher. Uh, Tech Doink got reworked. I'm pretty sure I don't have him built. But they finally gave him... His trainer ability, some love. If I could only find him. I'll burn the coins. It's fine. Oh, apparently, I have a five-star fuse for him. Um, at 26k, green finishers do 75% more damage and green moves do 75% more damage. About flipping time that they gave this uh, to him. But even at 21k, you're going to get an extra 75% on the finisher. So he is an option as well. For the belt, take down twos, 200%. Chic plate, whenever you activate a green move, increase your green move damage by 100% for two total turns. So again, no gears. Yes, chic plate. Yes, Bailey. Yes, Gooker. Try to make him look good, folks. I need you to go purchase him. Scopely shell, etc. So, make the middle row into snowfall. We're starting at 1.5 mil for both of these moves. 8.8. Um, .8. I never put Bailey back on, did I? Nope, I did not. Womp womp. That's fine. So without the gear, you would break two of the snowfall gems. And then you would cascade, because why wouldn't you? Blah, blah, blah. Throw this build in the trash. She already screwed it up. I'm nothing if not transparent. So we're going to speed run this. No, thank you. 16 mil on an oops. Bleh. All right, let's put Bailey on and actually play this match. Okay, now that we're going to do this properly. Uh, we are at 
for both of these moves. Finisher before the Sheik plate and with no gears is doing 10 mil. That's disgusting. So even if you don't have a Sheik plate and like 10 mil-ish is your base, that's crazy strong. There's a lot of rosters out there that would benefit from that. Maybe you're only doing takedown ones instead of takedown twos and you're doing 8 mil and fully recycling. It, you'll be fine. You will be fine. This character is very strong. Cascade it again, because why wouldn't I? I'm getting greedy. That's what I'm doing, is I'm trying to, like, stack the sheet plate a kajillion times. We don't need to stack it a kajillion times. Maybe in the run it back, I'll do that. But, like, he doesn't have enough health for this anyways. Does not have enough health. 17.6 on the finisher. And then you would put your 7x4 there to trigger all the snowfall gems and recycle. Very straightforward. And with one of the gears, you're going to be able to cycle that a few times a turn. It's going to be nutty. I'm excited to show you guys that. Um, I do, however, want to go full sicko mode. Let's just do finisher damage. All right. Let's run this back. But we're doing full finisher damage focus this time. Steel for green MP. Showboat Gable for 150%. Powerhouse Anvil for 50%. And then keeping Gooker for the 25%. So we're getting 225% extra on our finisher. 1.43, 1.43. So 11 and a half mil before Sheik Plate and before Gear. But now we actually have to load the finisher. Not a ton, but we still got to do it. It's not fair when it criticals, man. It's not fair when it criticals. But it didn't cascade. Uh, so 15.3 turn one without the gears. With the gears, that's going to be stupid because we're going to be able to stack the Sheik Plate a couple more times. But you're going to have to come watch the run it back. That's the caveat. One, two, you thought that was good. Wait until you see this in my next video. <laughs> Let's go ahead and wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at Jim Neidhart Hall of Fame. Again, an aggressive era Hall of Fame technician. Trainer ability at 26k. Purple moves start with two more move points. And moves that heal give 50% more health. So a trainer for Hall of Fame Ray, if that is the build you plan to run. He does have gears. This preview did not have gears. Stay tuned for the run it back because this move damage build is going to get a little insane. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments of this video. We saw a uh, sub, we saw bleed, we saw gem damage, we saw leech damage, we saw move damage. Lots of different ways to play this character without gears. Um, and a lot of free-to-play friendly ways as well. So I'm curious to hear what everyone thinks about this character. Again, stay tuned for the run it back with both of the gears. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.